In this video I'm going to show you how to do AQA A-Level Maths, June 2018, Paper 1, Question 14. My name is Sunil Tanner, I'm a tutor and author, details on the card, I'm available for one-to-one -one tuition both online and in person, I live in Buckinghamshire, England. Some students are trying to prove an identity for sine A plus B. They start by drawing two right angle triangles, ODE, which is the bottom triangle, and OEF, which is the top triangle. And the student's incomplete proof continues. They uh, let angle DOE, which is this angle here, be A, and angle EOF be B. And then they have various steps of an incomplete proof, which I won't um, go through now. Uh, you can read them out yourself. Question 14a. Explain why PF, which is this side, uh, sorry, PF, which is this side here, divided by EF, which is this side here, is times EF, which is uh, this side here, divided by this side here, gives uh, cos A sine B. Okay, so um, if we look at this angle here, A, we can see that the angle up here, uh, which is PEQ, is also A. So we could say PEQ is equal to A, and the reason is they are alternate angles, right? So this angle here is A. Now we have a right angle triangle um, where this, and if we look at the right angle, we can see that angle PEF, angle PEF is equal to 90 minus A. So this angle here is 90 minus A. And now if we look at triangle um, EPF, the triangle EPF, uh, we'll, uh, we can see that angle EFP, the top angle at the top here, angle EFP is equal to 180 minus uh, 90 minus A minus the 90 degrees here, which is A. So this angle at the top is A. And now for triangle EPF, we can see that we have uh, two of the sides that we're interested in. PF is the adjacent, and EF is the hypotenuse. So we can say PF over EF is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So if since the angle is A, it will be cos A. Um, likewise, if we look at the other triangle, we are looking at here, for this triangle here, um, EF, which is this side, and OF, which is this side, are the hypotenuse and the opposite of that triangle. So for triangle um, OEF, OF is equal to the uh, hypotenuse, and I'll write, actually I'll write it above, EF is equal to the opposite, so EF over OF is equal to um, sine of B. So hence, obviously you could write this on the next page, but I'm putting it on so you can see it all on one page. Uh, PF over EF times EF over OF is equal to cos A sine B. Okay, the next part of the question is over the page. Um, uh, it says, complete line 4 and line 5 to prove this identity. DE over something times something over OF, and then that should give you the second part of the identity. Now, if you know the identity, you know that line 5 should be um, sine A cos B. And then we've got the second part of the um, addition angle formula. So if we go back to the diagram for a minute, we've got DE over something, and we want to make that sine A. So DE is this side here, which is the opposite of this triangle at the bottom. So the hypotenuse here is OE. So the bottom of this one is OE. Likewise, we want to do cos B, So and we have OF on the top. OF is the hypotenuse of this triangle, so the adjacent here is OE. So the bottom of the second one 
top of the second one is OE. Um, explain what the why the argument used in part A only proves the identity when sine uh, when A and B are acute angles, in other words, less than 90 degrees. Well, of course, we're using triangles here, so all the angles in the triangle must be um, add up to 180, and one of the angles we always know is a right angle, 90 degrees. So if we go back to the diagram for a moment, we can see, if we just look at the original triangles, the triangle ODE, uh, we know that we have a right angle and another angle, so we can say that triangle ODE is a uh, right angle triangle, right angle triangle, which says A is equal to 180 minus 90 degrees minus, uh, if you look, go back to the diagram, you'll see it's DEO is the other angle in the triangle. So A has to be less than 90 degrees. Likewise, if we look at the diagram again for a moment, the top triangle is OEF, and we can see we have a right angle and another angle, which is EFO. Uh, so triangle ODF is a right angle triangle. So B is equal to 180 minus um, uh, 90 minus angle EFO. So B has to be less than 90 degrees. Um, okay. Um, we can put an and. Yeah. Last part is a student. Another student claims that by replacing B with minus B in the identity sign for sine A plus B, it's possible to find an identity for sine A minus B. Assuming the identity for sine A plus B is correct for all values of A and B, prove a similar result for um, sine A minus B. So if the identity for sine A plus B, which of course we've um, just proven for acute angles, is sine A cos B um, plus cos A sine B. So uh, if we take their assumption that it works for all angles, uh, we could substitute minus B for plus B in each case. So substitute minus B for B. And we will now get sine A minus B is equal to sine A times cos of minus B plus um, cos of A times sine of minus B. So what we need to do is uh, somehow get this minus out of the... should be sine of minus B there. Somehow get these um, uh, the, uh, the minus sign out of the sine and cos functions. Now we can use the fact that cos is an even function. So identity cos B is equal to cos of minus B. And we also have a sine is an odd function. So, in fact, we find that sine of B is equal to minus sine of minus B. Um, so, uh, those two identities you should know. If you use that, we can see that, therefore, sine A minus B is equal to... You can, uh, cos minus B becomes just cos B. So, sine A cos B... And because of the minus B inside the sign here, but that becomes minus sine B, so it will become minus cos A sine B. And we've proven the result we wanted.